thanks for doing this. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to do. First is that uh, we wanted to do a couple of interviews uh, through Compassion Month to kind of show the impact that sponsoring Compassion Child not only has on the child, but also the people who, people who are sponsoring it. So I would love for you to introduce yourselves, uh, kind of talk about when you first uh, how, or how long you've been uh, sponsoring Compassion Child and why did you actually start doing it for the first time? A renovation family. So I am Dion Brown. I'm Ashley. Is why. <laughs> um, we have been sponsoring a child in Uganda for the past three years now. Um, we started 2017 think, when. Yeah, it was on a Compassion Sunday actually, Compassion Sunday. Um, and I think that that was like one of the first things that we really did when we started going to the church. Is we were so moved by the stories and just the impact that we could have. Um, with just being a little bit more generous. The the fact that I've been blessed with so many things by God, just, just because where I've been born, what year I was born in, um, what family I was born into, all things that I couldn't control. It was like when I, when I heard a lot of these compassion stories of kids across the world who choices obviously they couldn't make. They were born in XYZ country um, into the XYZ family. And it's just... I wanted to be able to give back to these kids because of the way God has blessed me in ways that I couldn't have even asked for. Um, and I wanted to help them out in any way that I could. So when we first heard of Compassion, it was just a, a heartstring tug where my heart was like, for $50 a month, you could literally change a little boy or a little girl's life for the rest of their lives and really set them up for something special. It was like, my heart was like, yeah, you, you gotta do that. Basically, we don't get to eat out one meal extra a month and we get to help a kid's <laughs> life, you know, so. Uh, so let me ask you this. So you've been, uh, I think you said three years, right? Three years with uh, your best show. What, what is their name? Samuel O.T.T. So we actually have two children, Samuel O.T.T. and a little girl named Ashley Ortega. <laughs> Yes, we did choose her because her name is Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> in case anybody is asked. <laughs> yeah, so Samuel uh, was born and lives in Uganda, and Ashley was born and lives in the Dominican Republic. What has been the impact for you? Like, as you've begun to build that relationship, have those letters uh, written back and forth, what has it been like for you? It really tears down pride and makes me humble um, and just makes me praise God, I guess, more. Um, knowing that we can help impact their lives, but they can also show us just how genuinely happy they are with what they have. And then um, that can reflect to us to be more grateful and happy with what we have. It's shown me how blessed I truly am mm -hmm. on things that I can't even control. So for instance, Samuel, every time he writes to me, he talks about his goals that he has in life. And he's, he was born in 2013, so he just turned seven this year. And he, he always talks about, he wants, he, so he lives in Uganda in a, in a small village. And there's a, a big city near his village um, that I would assume is similar to a lot of American cities like Atlanta or Miami or something like that. And he always talks about, he wants to go to this city um, and work for a corporation as a manager there. And it's like, that's, that's the same exact goal that I had growing up is I wanted to you know be in Atlanta and work for, Chick-fil-A, Delta, Home Depot, a major company as a manager. And it's like, I actually have, because where I was born, I had the access to go to university or, you know, go to a good high school and a good college and, and you know, have that pathway to, to being there. But he might not necessarily have that same option because of where he was born. So it's like, it's the same goals, just 8,000 miles apart. And it's yeah. like, there's nothing that he could control, but and so it's, it's shown me how blessed I am, but that we are kind of the same person me mentally and mm. internally, but he just needs a little help from the outside world. So uh, our friends at Compassion, we actually reached out to them about some places and had actually went to the village where Samuel is at and got them to do a home visit and record that for us so that we could show you guys what it looks like, what, how he's grown, the things that are important to him. Uh, part of it is his pastor and also the site director and just kind of engaging in that. So I'd love to show you guys that just so you can kind of see yeah. it for the first time here now. Uh, All so right. I'm also Kamkatula with Child Development Center, UG151. My name is Amiodo Joshan, Child Development Officer, Sponsor Donor Relations. And we nurture children in four aspects mainly. That is spiritual, cognitive, 
both emotional and physical. And we praise God for this opportunity that the sponsor will get to hear directly from the family of Okiti Samuel. Welcome to UG0151, Achula with CDC. My name is Richard Otim. I serve in this project as the project director. I know the family will be happy to receive us. So may God bless you. Thank you. Those are his gods um, you can see that he takes a lot of grazing in the morning, then he brings them back to the evening. Now can you meet him again? Thank you so much for the 
that we will be their protector, provide for them, guide them in whatever they are doing for them. We want to give you glory for what you have done during this day and what you have brought here. We thank you for your provision to give you glory to give us first in our life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was that? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I'm just crying. to see oh, him man. and his family and where he lives and what yeah. he likes to do. Even to like hear yeah. the like hear them speaking and hear him speaking. It's just so different when you're just writing letters. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. And he looks good. Yeah. <laughs> He's growing. <laughs> He's <up>. growing. <laughs> I want to give you an opportunity to talk to our family, our church, who has either yet to sponsor or is uh, wrestling with keeping their sponsor because of the economic hardship. What would you say to them? I would say if you can make this sacrifice, make the sacrifice because you are providing so much for them for so little, um, but it is impactful in your own life as well um, with your spiritual walk with God too. So if you're able to make the sacrifice, make it. Um, and just being, I mean, pray, for, pray to be able to do it. It's just so great. I totally agree with Ashley. It's like, this has been one of the best money spent that I've, that I've spent my money on $50 every month. is something that is truly changing this little boy's life, you know, 8,000 miles away that it's just, it's, it, it might, it might have impacted us more than it's impacted him. The, it's just it's just an incredible thing that compassion is doing and and i i'm 100 percent behind what they are doing and ashley said in the beginning like we we might skip one eating out meal for it once a month for this little boy to have clothes food you know pay for his school fees so that he can grow up and you know literally be the change in his community and you know help his grandma help his other brothers and sisters there so it's just like I think it's great what Compassion is doing and I, I really would encourage everybody to get behind it.